Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, now let's take a look at the gold market. It's also it was closed yesterday. So uh, returning back to the subject that we have discussed in the vehicle report. In general, we suggest a bit downward continuation here. So uh, we talked a lot about the possible failure of this potential patch. And we said lots of patches might be formed in the nearest few weeks here, starting from the high time frames on the uh, vehicle chart starting from the double repo pattern which is might be here is a look like the double top to this possible failure because we have here a conference support and a lots of different patterns on the intraday charts as well so here we've got the pounds that we suggest suggest that it's uh, based on the two patterns first one right here which is a bullish stretch by the chart Napoli combination of the daily uh, fib level and oversold it usually suggest the pullback but this pattern is a kind of the retracement uh, kind of pattern so it, uh, it doesn't change the direction it just triggers the minor pullback tactical pullback so it always short term uh, and uh, mostly the the, the, the uh, nature that the logic of this is the overextension of the market because here is in the rest of the sessions you can see really great sell offers tail closing acceleration it's really big selling pressure from that standpoint this performance is actually good background for a possible downward continuation once market will finish with this pullback it's minor retracement on the lower time frames take a look at the full time frame chart we've got here pullback but the shape of the pattern which if you remember we talked about the double repo pattern here nominally yes we've got close below the three by three second close and uh, close above which this candle gives us the confirmation of this pattern our production starts so if you have a long position you have taken it to the today in the morning so probably you could keep it just move stops to the break even see what will happen but uh truth is that this shape is not good for a double repo because when you double repo with a sharp reversal pattern it suggests that bears can't push price for the lows capitulated and mar and bulls take the control over the market in this situation we do not see it it seems more like this was just a retracement after minor upper prediction and here's we have a continuation so this is much weaker shape of the pattern uh, i mean double repo than it could be for normal double repo you, you need to some attempt to break through but here we do not have it still it doesn't mean that it can't work because we still have the stretch we have uh, some support area and also uh, these two levels that we are uh, decided to watch for as a potential target for example on hourly chart we could get something of this sort so maybe this will not be superb action by the double repo it will not have an explosive rally but still gradually market could try to climb up to the 2374 22373 area which is actually agrees with our minimum uh destination point 2375 based only on this final part of the thrust this 50 percent level which is common target for the double repo patient because a personal consumption expenditures this week will be released only by at the end of the week it's a pretty much time until this moment and well some pullback is really possible so anyway uh, the setup that we have discussed is already stands in place our prediction started so if you have position you probably could try to keep it with the break even stop and see what will happen once market will reach this area and minor pullback will be completed we will have to return back to the idea of the possible taking the short position but once again i remind you that here uh, i am speaking about the bearish positions uh, just because this is the technical update uh, if you're interested with our overall view we suggest no no short position in gold especially if you are considering for investing if you are uh, trading on long-term charts it's more important for the long-term charts uh, which means that it will be better to not sell gold just because 
of the reasons that we discussed in a weekly report. But since we're speaking purely on a technical background, purely on uh, passions here, we have to say about this. So because nominally on the daily chart, we have bearish context. So once direction passion will be finished, bearish context will return because we have the bearish trend, we have great sell off, we have potential double repo sell on a weekly chart. And from that standpoint, we have to speak about the bearish positions. So uh, that's what uh, I would like to remind you here. So let's see uh, what will happen. Hopefully we will get our target and uh, we will turn to the next trading setup that we have.